Roswell Flight Test Crew here at the 2019 AUVSI Cascade Fall Symposium, and I'm talking to Corey Raisler. How you doing, Corey? Good, Patrick. How are you? Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. Now, there's this amazing machine behind us called Flares. What What is Flares? What does it stand for, and what does this machine do? Well, Flares is short for Flying Launch and Recovery System, and essentially we're just using large multi-rotor to serve as a mothership for your fixed-wing aircraft. It gives it VTOL without compromising the performance of the fixed wing at all. So we lift the fixed wing vertically with the multi-copter, get it a little bit of forward airspeed, and release the fixed wing into flight. The multi-copter, which is battery powered, returns after three or four minutes, change out the batteries, fixed wing goes and does its mission. For recovery, we clip the recovery rope onto the multi-copter, hoist it vertically, and now when the fixed wing has emptied its fuel tank and is looking to return to base, it hits the rope, there's a, a wingtip, a skyhook system that's very well proven, uh, engages the rope and we lower it vertically to the surface. Now I have to say, I think I first saw this system in this just incredible online video that in situ did in 2015 and it blew my mind. I just thought it was the coolest thing I'd ever seen. So what's been happening since? Well the 2015 uh, stunt that we did with in situ really uh, just showed the world that flares works. It's just a proof of concept. Uh, since then we've been making it easier to use, more robust with redundancy in the airframe. The multi-copter is super plug and play now. Uh, lots of redundancy with the battery and the autopilot and we've simplified the controls so it, it's about as easy to operate as a forklift. <laughs> well, that's, that's a good standard for an aircraft. <laughs> so what is it this, this piece of equipment actually allows a fixed wing drone operator to do? So there's fixed wing uh, aircraft that can go 10 or 12 hours on a tank of fuel, uh, usually gas powered or, or um, heavy fuel, and go do their surveillance mission. Now, instead of catapult launch and big equipment, skyhook or net recovery that's like thousands of pounds of equipment, literally 8,000 pounds of equipment for a, a 50 pound airplane, we've replaced that with a much smaller footprint flares multi-copter based system uh, it's an order of magnitude less stuff getting out to the site and then uh, of course you can operate uh, through a, a hole in the jungle or a small clearing without having uh, to have a big swath of clearing for your approach and, and launch. And then who are the customers for this product? So the most demanding customers are really the ones that want it all. They want long endurance uh, surveillance, ISR. They want uh, low detectability, so it's a small ISR, 10-foot wingspan, 2 horsepower, not these monster UAVs. And they want VTOL, and uh, they want it to fit in a, in a small, like a pickup truck, right, small footprint. They want to be able to get it there and get it home without filling a C-130 cargo aircraft, right? <laughs> Got it. All right, so if people want to learn more about this, or maybe they've got an airplane they want to sling underneath, how should they get in touch with you? Well, Hood Tech Mechanical has a website. Uh, you can find us at Hood Tech Flares. There's lots of Vimeo uh, press releases get, getting put out, uh, or just hoodtech.com. All right, thanks. Well, Corey, thank you so much for a look at the system. It is. It remains one of the coolest things I've ever seen a multi-rotor do. Thank you, Patrick, and thank, thanks for helping me get the word out. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. All right, so from the 2019 AVSI Cascade Fall Symposium, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off. Thanks again, Corey. Thank you. All right, cheers.